The woman has just returned home to find her family murdered. Her surviving husband is tied up. Mary rushes to his aid, but he tells her to stay away. Mary hides it to the side. Then, she saw a German soldier approach her husband. He cut Mary's husband's throat with a knife. Mary was devastated. At the same time, another soldier found Mary. Mary ran away quickly, with the soldier in hot pursuit. Eventually, Mary was caught and humiliated by the soldiers. Soon after, a baby cries. Mary arrives at the tent and finds the baby girl alive. Meanwhile, the German soldiers promised Mary that they would not kill them if she led them out of the snow. The soldiers connected the men together with a rope and they walked through the cold snow. Mary cuts the rope when they're not looking. As they passed through an icy ditch, she suddenly shook the rope. The German soldiers slipped and they all fell off the cliff. Although she had avenged her family and tribe, Mary was left without a home. In order to prevent the German soldiers from pursuing her, Mary could only take the baby with her and wander around. Twenty years passed, and the baby grew into a beautiful girl. Mother and daughter lived together in the snow field. If the weather was bad, the dog was their only food. Their life was hard, but with each other, they were not alone. While hunting, the mother found a man passed out on the ground. Cautious, the mother scavenges for supplies and prepares to leave. But she was grabbed by the waking man's feet. At Jack's begging, the mother helped him. She takes Jack back to her tent and cares for him. When her hunting daughter returned, she was curious about the man. It was the first time she had ever seen a man of the opposite sex. Soon after, Jack's injuries began to heal. He began to follow the mother and daughter on hunting trips. With Jack's help, their hunting success rate increased. In addition, Jack taught them how to use the radio to hear voices from thousands of miles away. Over time, the relationship between the three of them changed in a marvelous way. One day, the daughter accidentally saw Jack kissing her mother on the cheek. She then entered the tent and took off her jacket in front of them. She seemed to be showing her body to Jack. From that moment on, the seeds of jealousy begin to take root in the hearts of mother and daughter. Jack is 40 years old and he knows that both women like him. Jack's biological instincts drove him to prefer the younger girl. Finally, one night, they had sex in the tent while the mother was out hunting. What they didn't know was that the mother had been standing not far away, watching the tent. Mother and daughter live with Jack. Jack from the modern world didn't like this life in the snow, so he decided to take the girl and leave. The mother was shocked, but she didn't stop them. In the evening, the daughter suddenly told her mother something while she was packing her bags. Because of the long journey, she and Jack had to take a lot of food and supplies with them. In the freezing snow, there was no hope of survival without food. Their behavior angered the mother, but she didn't show her anger. One day while Jack was away, the mother offered to brush her daughter's hair one last time. The daughter agreed. The mother braided her daughter's hair and then, when she wasn't looking, strangled her with a braid. The daughter struggled desperately, but eventually fell into her mother's arms. The mother cuts off her daughter's face with a knife and slowly puts it on her own face. She then changed into her daughter's clothes. Jack is back. As soon as he entered the dimly lit tent, the mother, dressed as her daughter, jumped on him. As they made love, Jack felt something was wrong. He took a closer look and realized it was the mother wearing the girl's face. Jack was horrified. He disappeared into the freezing cold without any clothes on.